Hello and welcome guys. This is my new video tutorial on how to send and receive data through serial ports in C Sharp. First you need to check out the documentation of course. Everything is explained there if you want to know specific information. Just look it up. Also check the properties here. We are going to use them later. And of course the example of usage provided here. You will find a link in the description. Also you will need a null modem. Check this project on SourceForge to get an emulator. This emulator just creates virtual serial ports for you. And if this program won't work for you, check their official site and download the driver right here. Choose one of them and install it. I chose that one here. And I already created a pair of serial ports, so COM2 and COM3. Also make sure to check the device manager if everything was installed correctly. Yeah, this looks good. So I'm going to open my project now and I'm going to show you how it works to send and receive data. First, of course, select the COM port. The baud rate, parity, data bits and stop bits. Of course, the same for the second window, just another COM port. Connect it. And you can already see there that some connection there. And now send some text. Okay, looks good. So it works. So let's see the code. First of all, we initialize the serial port S port. It's right here. Also, we need to connect with the specified settings right here. and we write data simply with the write function down here. And if you want to receive data, you need to create a event handler, as you can see here. Okay, so let's start coding. So let's start coding. Create a new Windows Forms project. First we need to drag a button to our form. And of course one text box. Double click the button. So now we are in the code view for the button click event. And first we need to initialize the serial port with our specified settings. So our COM port first, this will be our text box, the string in our text box, the board rate second, parity, our data bits, 8, 1 byte. And of course, stop it. Now we need to open the connection. Simply using open on our initialized S port. And for writing text, we use the function write.
just in case some error happens, some exception gets thrown. And of course, after all, we need to close our port. And that's it. Compile it and try it out. Okay, looks good. So I will try it out right now. Okay, that's the program we just created. And since I only write data in this short example, I will use PuTTY as a receiver to show some text. Open up PuTTY and input the correct settings. As well as here, just the COM part. Okay. And there you see, it works. PuTTY receives the data. And to receive data, once again, check my code for the event handler or just download my project folder and look it up. You will find a free download link in the description. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit the like and subscribe button.